Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the first episode of the Teams mini-series. Uh, it's been highly requested that I do a mini-series on making a Teams plugin where you can create Teams, uh, add people to your Teams, and then have some special advantages like uh, toggling friendly fire or claiming chunks and other different things like that. In the first episode, I'm going to show you guys serialization, something brand new. And while it may sound like the process of turning something into serial, it's actually a little bit different. As you can see, I already have a plugin set up with a main class, and I did go ahead and do the settings manager already. There's no point in making a fifth settings manager video since this is pretty much the same as any other settings manager I have ever made to your standard... Um, your standard just setup right here. You have a setup method that takes in a plugin. Uh, then you have your uh, file in your configuration file with set, create configuration section, get, and save. If you don't understand this, check out uh, my video on uh, the settings manager. Uh, one of the newer ones, probably in you know the economy uh, or permissions mini series, and you can kind of understand exactly what this does. Um, so what we're going to do now first is we're going to make a team class which represents a team. Then we're going to actually learn how to save and load it from the configuration. Uh, in the past, we used to do it where we would manually write every single field to the um, configuration. So if the team has like you know the name of the person and a list of all of the members and then other information like that. Um, there's no sense in, you know, writing and reading it manually if there's a better way to do it, and that's what I'm going to show you today. First thing that you want to do um, in your team is you want to make it implement configuration serializable. This is a class that is, uh, or an interface rather, that is defined by Bucket, and it basically tells you that this team class can be serialized for a configuration. Serialization essentially is the process of, like, um, it's, it has to do with persistence. You're basically taking um, this like native class in Java and you're saving it for later retrieval. So in this case, we're saving it to a YAML configuration file, and then later on we can read it and then reconstruct the object, and that's pretty much what serialization is. You'll notice we have a red line because there's one method that we need to implement for configuration serializable, and it is this public map of string object called serialize. And what this is going to do is it's going to return a map of string and object that contains all of the keys and values to be serialized, which will be, in this case, the name and the members for now. And we'll add more stuff to that later. So the first thing that we want to do is define our field. So we need a private string name and a private array list string, which we'll call members. Uh, then we need to go ahead and make two constructors. First is a public team. And this is going to take in a string name. And I'm going to write a little comment here that this is made um, for construction by the plugin. Or I don't even need to write that, just um, for the plugin. And then this is where, if we want to create a new team with like that, you know, create command, and we would just say this.name is equal to name, and this.members is equal to new array list string. So we're just making an empty list of members because it's brand new. Now, the other thing that we need to do as far as the constructor is oops, for the um, serialization, we need a public team. And this is going to take a map of string and object, which I'm going to call map. And this is going to be, um, this is for, ah, mess, for Deserialization. I hope I spelled that right. Uh, nope. I guess not. What did I do wrong? All right. Well, I'll fix the name before I push it. But um, what we are doing here is we're going to later on, since we're serializing it as a map of string and object, then if we want to re to get it from the, config the configuration file, we're going to receive a map of string and object, and we need to reconstruct it. So we're going to say this dot name is equal to string map dot get name, and 
what we're doing here is the map will contain, uh, for now, uh, name and members, which we will do in a minute in this serialized method. Then we're going to say this dot members is equal to string map dot get members. And the way that we're going to store it is it's going to be um, comma delimited, so like um, pogo stick, not string, pogo stick and 29 like that, and then those would be the, the people in there. So we're going to actually create a new array list string, and then we're going to say arrays dot as list that dot split at the comma, and we need to surround this. Okay. Looks a little bit messy, but basically what we're doing is that um, map.get, and I'll, I'll put this in a comment, map.get members is going to return something like um, pogo stick and 29, where the three members would be pogo stick and 29. So we're splitting it at the comma to get all the different names, and then we're converting it into a list and putting it inside of this array list. So basically, this array list in the end would contain pogo stick and 29. Uh, then, of course, we want to have our um, public string get name, where we'll return name, and then we do, we want our um, public string array get members. We might actually make this into like an array of players, but uh, probably leave it as strings. That would just be return members dot to array new string array members dot size. That part's not really important, but we're converting it from an array list into a string array. Um, it's not terribly important there. Now the important part, of course, is actually the setting uh, and getting from the configuration file. So let's go ahead and fill in the serialize. So we're going to first create a hash map string and object, which we'll call map, and we're going to uh, initialize it to be a new hash map string and object. Then we're going to go ahead and say map.put name and name and then map.put um, members and then we're just going to have to just write a quick method that's not really important but it's going to be called join um, members and comma so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly write this all it's going to do um, is return a string of everything joined so uh, everything we'll just say collection string collection um, and then string glue, we'll call it, because it glues everything together. And then we're just going to say uh, string, oops, sorry about that, string builder um, stb is equal to new string builder. Uh, and then we're just basically going through string str in collection. We're appending the string and then we're appending the glue. So in this case, it would, it would append the pogo, then a comma, then stick, then comma, then 29. And then just return stb.tstring. That part's not really important. You don't have to worry about that. We're just basically joining everything inside of members with a comma. And then we're going to return map. So now, uh, as far as the configuration, this will basically return a map of string and object for um, serialization and that will put all of these values into the configuration and then this constructor for deserialization will be able to get this stuff back out of the configuration file even after a reload and then pull all of the information out of it. So let's go ahead and try this. We're going to say settings manager dot get instance dot set sample team to be a new team uh, and we're going to call it um, uh, team pogo. So remember, we're using the constructor that would be used to create a new team in the plugin uh, that just takes in the name. And then we're going to say team team is equal to settings manager dot get instance dot get for sample team. Uh, but the important part is that we need to put this inside of um, new team dot get. And then we're going to say that this is a map of string and object. 
So what we're doing is this is going to return um, this get is going to return a map of string and object just like we put in a map of string and object then we're constructing a new team from that and that's going to use the second constructor uh, which is the constructor for um, the deserialization and then let's just go ahead and, and um, sorry print out uh, team dot get name so we can make sure that it actually works so let's go ahead and export that uh, we'll go ahead and start the server, and then right here is um, the plugins folder, so we can take a look at it. So let's go ahead and let it run. And what did I do wrong? Let's see. Oh, that's right. When you do the new team, you need to um, serialize it. So you need to say new team whatever dot serialize. And then that will return that map of string and object, that method that we wrote. It'll, you know, do it, that for us. And, of course, we need to delete the config since it has an error in it. As you can see, the first time we did it, it printed out Team Pogo. If I continue to reload, uh, after multiple reloads, it's still printing out Team Pogo, which means that it clearly is working. And let's take a look and see what it actually did in the configuration. So as you can see, it says Sample Team, which is what we gave it. Then it has members and names. So this looks just like if we were to manually set sample team dot members to that and then sample team dot name to team pogo. It looks the exact same um, except that we're doing it a little bit easier. Instead of having to call get on every single thing, um, all it does is we call that serial that serialize method, and then we also have the constructor to deserialize it. So that's all for this episode, uh, just about serializing for configuration files. It's going to be helpful uh, not only in here just to make the configuration stuff a little bit easier, but it's also going to be helpful um, in pretty much any other plugin that you do that involves um, saving you know, classes to a configuration file. Um, so I guess that's pretty much all for this video. As always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon with the next episode of the Teams Marini series and, of course, other videos as well. Bye, guys.